making hellebores. So a template is just a guideline for how to make them and we're just showing you a way of making them. You can cut up your own parts of the petals and you're using crepe paper here, or tissue paper or um, uh, wire masking tape and, and a pair of scissors of course. So I'm just cutting the template up that has the different shapes on them and I'm making sure that each template part gets cut up so I've got my elements to work with. And here I'm showing you how the template can be a template for your own piece of paper, white paper, and you can paint them and colour them the way you want them to. So hellebores are many, many different colours right now. The one from the Legend of the Christmas Rose is, is silvery white. So it, it's really like the one that I just cut out and then I'm just cutting several up so I've got some more options. Here, this is for the stamen and there are three different parts and you could use all sorts of paper for this. You could use a piece of yellow paper or an old page from a book and I'm just chopping it up as a little, with a little fringe on each part and then I'm rolling the part, rolling the whole thing around but in the part that hasn't been cut up. So about... Uh, two thirds of the little of a little strip of paper here has been fringe cut fringes into it, and then once it's rolled around, I I always squeeze the the the, um, the part that hasn't been cut up, and then I roll a bit of wire around it. And once that's done, it's a good idea to put a bit of masking tape around that, partly to cover up the wire, which tends to snap on the paper but also to keep, keep it more sturdy. The next bit is a round circle and I'm cutting several layers of tissue paper underneath it and then I'm cutting a fringe all the way around, not in the middle, just about just snipping into it. You don't have to be too precise because it'll come to life all by itself, poke a hole in the middle and then thread the stamen part of it through the hole. If the hole's not big enough as you can see here I'm just enlargening it a bit with the with the scissors it's really good to get the tension between these elements right if however it doesn't and it falls or it rushes over the head of the stamen put a bit of glue on it and then squeeze back the tissue paper around the stamen part and then you poke a little hole through the petal and again just gently roll it or put it into position so that it stays with the right amount of tensions and doesn't fall off. If it falls off, put a bit of masking tape on the top of it. Now, what, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm just giving the petals a bit of, of life by folding it. This part is the part underneath the flower. Uh, there's a little bit of, bit of green that's sort of left from the, when it, when the hellebore was a, was a, uh, a bud. And I'm just cutting a poking a little hole in it and then again threading it on top of the wire and covering up the masking tape folding adjusting the next bit is to put the floral tape around the wire and of course you can leave the wire free if you don't want it doesn't have to have the floral tape if you don't have any floral tape. But otherwise, wrap it around the scarf. And the floral tape is sticky on one side. Or it's sticky once you pull it. It's not just on one side. It's, it's the fact that you need to pull it. So if you hold on to the top bit and, and roll the wire and then pull the, pull the other part, as you're pulling it, it will be get, get stickier and stick onto the wire. And... The same go thing goes for the other hellebores that I've cut up. So I'm just using this as more of a green, greenish, mossy green colour. I'm poking a hole in the middle. The stamen part is too big, using the scissors to enlarge it, getting it all stuck together, poking a hole in the petal. And, and quite often there are several several layers of some on some, on some hellebores but mostly they just have this one layered petal and then adding a bit of masking tape making sure that it's stuck in the right position 
then poking a hole through the, my little figure of eight, gluing it and threading the wire and covering up. And because the crepe paper is elastic, it's easier to cover it up. And then there's the more sort of purplish or sort of, um, what color of it? Dusty, dusty purple. <laughs> Some of the hellebores have this colour, so I just thought it was nice to have the different, a couple of different variants, and you can make up your own. And squeezing the stamen bit into place. I'm wanting the petals on this one to be, to, to breathe a bit more, so I'm just cutting a little bit off the leaf towards, towards the middle part so I can lift it up and put it into the shape that I want it to be in. And with the leaves, again, use them as a guideline. Some leaves are darker in the, in the, um, in the, um, on, on the hellebores. These are basically a guideline. And if you put a piece of metal wire and use the masking tape to stick it there, you'll be able to shape the leaf, the leaf once it's in, in the position with the hellebore, wrap floral tape around it. And I always put another leaf at the other end of the, of the wire. So I've got a almost like a little um, uh, bow tie leaf on each side. And then I can wrap that around the stem of the hellebore. And I can shape it here because it's got that metal where I can move the leaves into the position I want them to be in. Yeah, rolled it around the stem of the of the already made hellebore. You don't need two leaves for each hellebore at all, but it's it's um it's if especially if you're doing several of them, it's it's nice to have some of them without leaves and some of them with leaves because it just gives it gives a little bit of um, um, volume to the bouquet. This is just a leaf I'm I'm doing as, for, as freehand using the template as a guideline. Putting the metal wire, making sure that it's got a double face, it's got glue on one side, that's why you, you didn't see me putting the glue on, but there was glue on the other side, so that they stick together. And this is a sort of quite crispy, sort of glittery, piece of, of tissue paper and it's it's fun to play around with different types of paper to make the leaves move voluminous or move a bit more so there you go three different hellebores have fun